Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Android and welcome to Shopkeep. This is going to be a giveaway video but I'm going to be showing you Shopkeep first because Shopkeep is the game we're going to be giving away. So Shopkeep is a very small development team who have created a shop management simulator. In it you buy items, you sell items, you set your markups, um, you buy skills to improve things, you get a champion who can go and fight um, in dungeons for you and bring you back rare loot. You perform alchemy to get rare items to sell in your shop. You can grow plants in planters. You can do all sorts of things. You sell to people through your shop item or through your shop equipment and directly. You can sift through the bins outside for shoppable items, which is one of the best ways to start. This is the end of day three, start of day four. And I'm just going to show you a few bits and pieces. So these are the items we purchase um, and we can pop them down onto our sales racks uh, just for sale. Uh, we use plus and minus to change the um, value that we're selling them at. And you can see that we have some different bits of equipment. But what we want is we do want to buy some more items, some more sort of of these shelves and things. So what we want is we want the armor racks. It costs us 20k, but that's fine. These are your skill points. You gain them as you go through the game doing things. But you can get all sorts of stuff. You can get popularity increases engineering to get robots which will automatically stock shelves for you, uh, planting which will allow you to plant and harvest crops, a vinyl player to customize the music during the game. Don't really think they should make you pay for that but okay. Uh, we can hire the or we can sort of buy out the tavern across the road using our skill points and we can take over that. This is customer talk. It allows us to mark up items when we're selling face to face and this is ha anti-haggle which gives us more um, purchasing or more selling force when we're selling items. I'm going to buy plus one item. Customers often purchase a secondary item. Um, and otherwise, other than that, um, I've already got less theft. Is there anything else I can afford that might be useful? Um, already got all of that. Nope, looks like there's no more skills I can afford. Over in the statistics page we have Help beginners defend themselves and attack their will will replace active quest. So we have a, a, a array of little kind of bits and pieces quests. Um, let's pop that into our active quest. So let's uh, our active quest is health potions. So we want to sell five health potions. Now we can place another order. We can grab basically some bits and pieces. We want to get some more stuff to sell. Um, later on so we want to buy some uh, or want to use our skill points to get access to more items which is these things here but for now at least we are quite happy with what we've got so we want to put ourselves out a armor rack so we'll put ourselves down an armor rack over here now you can get theft you could th uh, thieves attacking you uh, you can get all sorts of um, weird and wonderful things going on. Uh, actually what we want to do is we probably want to clear this off. No, come on. Take it off and take it off. And we can um, just start spreading out our shopping experience a little bit. What else have we got? We've got a hat rack, so we can put a hat rack out. We've already got a small table here, but we can have another small table. Excellent. Now what we do as well is we give the uh, shop a little bit of a clean and we make sure we repair all of our furniture. Get everything all set up and ready and then we can start stocking shelves. So we want to put a recall stone on here. This is our just general bits and pieces for people who are purchasing. Ooh, do we know? Oh, we haven't gone and collected them from the back room. There we go. I knew we'd bought some recall stones. We'll throw down another sword on the table. Swords tend to be some nice, good quality things to sell. Early on in the game, going out and selling directly to people face to face is not a bad idea. But... Um, once you get a decent shop soul, uh, set up, you'll be so busy defending yourselves from uh, invasions and defending yourself from attacks that um, you won't have so much time for going out and 
selling to people directly. Do we not have headgear? I thought we had some headgear unlocked. No, we don't have any headgear unlocked. Ah, oh, my mistake. Okay, so we can also expand the shop out. We have two places here that we can buy for 10,000 gold apiece. Can't really afford that yet. So let's open up for the day. So we're on to day four. Now you can get lucky and you can sift through the trash for additional items. So we're going to have a quick run round before we get any possible thieves in our shop. And we're going to sift through the trash. There we go, we've got a free sword there. That is very good because that's worth a hundred and something gold. And all we're just for running to these places and doing a sift. We've got a free potion there. And there's one more trash can up and around here. Which we're going to quickly sift through. And we got a free fire resist potion. Excellent. Now we can do direct trades to customers, but they're not nearly as beneficial. So if I sell this person a sword, that's got me 101 gold. Now that'll vary depending on the individual I'm selling it to and how much they want it. Um, and how lucky I am in my negotiations. So I can get up to, like, probably 110 gold or so from a person. But if I sell these in my shop, I'm going to get far, far better off. That was 36. Now if I sell it, ooh, you're going to buy a second piece of equipment. A shield for 65. Nice. So especially now that we've bought the buying two items thing. There we go, 147 gold there. So what we want to do is we basically want to stick around in our shop. And we want to keep the shop stocked uh, up because of course it makes it nice. And we want to keep everything repaired and ready for customers. Ooh, fire resist potion. And a health potion. Nice. So we'll throw down another one of those. We'll throw down a health potion. Excellent. We'll throw down some boots because the boots got used. And we'll throw down a fire potion. So this is the kind of cycle of the game. Now you can get barbarian attacks. You can send your adventure out to get items for you. Um... You can send your adventure out sort of gathering items and um, dealing things. You can grind it, grind stuff up to get material. Um, so there's an awful lot of stuff you can do. Uh, this is going to be our giveaway. Now to get hold of this game, I'm going to ask you to subscribe because only subscribers will be eligible to get uh, items from the game or to get the game. Ah, thief. So we're going to chase the thief down and we're going to sap him and turn him into a thing. And we are going to steal that. So only people who are subscribed to the channel are going to be eligible for uh, the giveaway. And to get the item or get the game, you are going to have to post in the comments below. You're going to have to post the words, I'd buy that for a silver piece. Or I'd buy that for a silver. Let's make it simpler. I'd buy that for a silver. Uh, I will put it in the description. Uh, and you are welcome to just copy and paste it from the description. But I'd buy that for a silver. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you for getting me up to 500 subscribers. And since then, getting me up another 70 subscribers after that. I will see you all in the streams. I stream every day from 3pm British Standard Time onwards, unless something goes on IRL. Um, and I will continue to provide content for you as much as I can. And uh, hopefully you guys will also continue to support the channel. So thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!